Those who came from different states, those that we invited who were able to make it. The neighbors who were able to come. All of you, you are welcome in this service. Our theme is in Jesus who had become the righteousness of God. The theme for evening in Jesus who had become the righteousness of God. We are reading the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 5, verse 21. Let me first welcome those who are following us on radio and TV and different platforms. Welcome. And let us uh, celebrate Passover and the resurrection together. Let's read 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. The Bible says, For he made him who knew no sins to be seen for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. There is a song that you like to sing here. I don't know it well. But you sing it. If you could not sing this on this feast, which other song did you sing? Eh? Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> Sajiri Joro, Twari Rimbirahe. We were supposed to sing it today. He who knew no sin. Let me ask, let me request you to come and sing just briefly. Let's sing it as a mass. Kumenya <laughs>
Second book of Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 21. Amen. For he made him who knew no sin to be seen for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. This is a very powerful word. He who knew no sin, Imana, God, Imihindura Kumenicha, Imuhindura Kubicha, made him to be seen because of us. It did not just stop there, so that in him, Twebge do Hinduke, Gukira no Kakima. We may become the righteousness of God. Righteousness. It's not a vocabulary of the world. The world righteousness. You cannot find it anywhere in the world. It's not of the world. There is no a market where you can purchase it. There is no family where you can find righteousness. Starting with the family of Abraham. Adam. Of Adam. He too was unrighteous. In the family of Adam. There was no righteousness found in him. And that's why he was out of Eden. Muri famiye. 
Noah. Even the family of Noah. And this is a man that we believe. Noah who followed. I won't mention the rest. From Adam to Noah. God could not find a righteous person. And when he saw Enoch, he was amazed. So you live in this world? No. Enoch. You live in this world. You know? Because the righteousness comes from heaven. I have to take you. Sorry, mom. He was taken without dying. Because righteousness is not of the world. And there is no school that teaches righteousness. And there is no diploma or degree of righteousness you can find. That the throne of God is built on righteousness. And the heavens is surrounded with righteousness. Enoch. Noah. Noah. Oh, Enoch has already been taken. Now Noah. Because the Bible says. Even the world did not deserve them. Righteous people, the world do not deserve them. Because when you become a righteous person, the world rejects you. When you become righteous, they defy you or they, they lie about your life. When you, when you become righteous, they insult you. Or they tarnish your name, your reputation. When you become righteous, you start countering issues between your spouse, your husband, or wife, even your children, because righteousness is not of this world. It's as if a person you are walking opposite of the train. Paul wrote this and said that in a time ago we were led by the customs of this world. The Bible says in French when we were still in the world we walk in the same direction with a train but when you become a righteous person you walk opposite from the train if I'm go heading to my place leaving the church here there is a train railroads when it's still in distance, you will see the red. You will see the light telling you that, warning you there is a, rail, uh, a train that coming on railroad where you have to stop. And Paul said, Paul said, when we were still in the world, we walked in the crowd of this world. But when you become a righteous person, you are excluded and you are opposite. And that's why there's a pressure that hits us from this world. When Satan came from heaven, he brought unrighteousness. He scattered it on the earth and he built it and it's everywhere. The Bible says a son of man or a man drinks a sin as if they're drinking water. Education 
your, your good education cannot give you righteousness. It's not about the great family that she know that can bring righteousness in them. But he who knew no sin God made him sin because of us. The only person with righteousness is he who knew no sin. Noah. Noah. In his time, he was a righteous man. And after he was out of the flood, he's the first one who drank wine. He's the first one who planted a vineyard. God had removed and wiped out the curse from the time of Eden. The flood has taken everybody. The first person who cursed was Noah and he cursed his grandson. Why? Why? Because of unrighteousness. How can you drink alcohol? How can you drink wine in your old age? Do you know how old he was at the time? He was 700 years old. He did not drink wine when he was still little. But now that his life was spared from the flood and he's already 700 years old, he wants to drink. And this also proves to us that righteousness is not of the world. God again starts to wait. Abraham can be righteous. And he tested him for a while. And when he got to Canaan, he brought hung famine. So we have, we have to make a deal, my wife. Let's move to Egypt. If you dare to say that you're my wife, it's going to be an issue. Yes, I married you. But from today, you are my sister. Abraham. Abraham. The man that we believe. He has no, he had no righteousness in him. Oh, how sad. God, what can I do now? There is no righteousness. And if God had found righteousness in the man, he would not have come because son, men would have produced seeds of righteousness around the world. Because a seed bears its fruit. Its kind. Its kind of fruit. Donc, a righteous person will, will produce its kind of righteousness. But it was, it's impossible. So who can we find out? And God said, okay. I have found a man. Samuel. A righteous person. Samuel stood in the congregation like this. And he said, accuse me. If I had wronged any of you. Raise your hand. The whole nation. From Belsheba. To Dan. No one could find him done wrong. He said, okay. Men stood up and say, yes, you are a righteous person. But your children, your sons are not righteous. Now what we want, you cannot give us your sons to rule us. We have to find our own king. On the reign of Samuel, it's when Israel wanted their own king. Because the, his uh, processors they could not they could not raise them well sons of Samuel they had bad habits but their father he will go and speak with God 
And God say, impossible. Samuel is a good man, but his descendants are not. So. But Samuel. Samuel. I found a man who's after my own heart. And this one, I believe righteousness will come out of him. You know who I'm talking about? David. Should I speak about David? No, I won't. <laughs> I cannot speak of David. I will skip him. Fast forward. <laughs> A man who's after God's own heart. But God still saying no. Now I, what can I do? Who knew no sin ever? In order to help me. Who knew no sin ever? And God looked. In the, in the book of Jeremiah, it said, Go around the city, go around and see if you can find a righteous person. And bring him to me. Because during the time of Ezekiel, God said, I, I could not find one person to stand in the gap. And God said, If you find one person, God told Abraham, If you find one, but no one could be found. But he who knew no sin. Yes, When they could not find no one in the world. And in heaven. Can't find sin there. It is only here where you cannot find sin. So therefore, we, what shall we do? Yes, what in the Jesus say, I'm ready. Good. How? Listen to me. But good. How is it going to work? Let let us make a strategy. If I descend from heaven as God, I will not redeem them. I must live with them and walk with them, be like them, be hungry like them, lack money, be tempted for it, for money. Beauty, beautiful girls of Jews, even a prostitute, will come before me. Great leaders will come to consult me. I will meet beautiful young ladies in their miniskirts. Kings and rulers will say, We want to hear you and see your miracles. I should be attempted like them. And you, God, made me a flesh. Made me a body. A body that lasts. A body that lasts up And I should be clothed. And everything I shall overcome. Then I will become a perfect candidate to redeem them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus came as a man 100%. He too suffered with his body. He was hungry. He would get angry. But he could not see. He encountered everything you see in life. He was tempted like you are tempted. God made him a body. And he made him like you were made. He clothed him as you were clothed. He made him as you were made. He made him give me eyes to see. So he could see the good and evil. He gave him the eyes. So the nature of lust will come. And he gave him the 
hears so he can hear everything people say and he gave him the heart assurance so he can suffer or rejoice he'll give him tears in his eyes so he can cry when he's suffering and he gave him the tightness, the weariness and the famine or hunger like yours the thirst like yours he made him a body like your body but 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 he did not sin hallelujah 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 hey hallelujah hey jesus hallelujah 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 yes we are candidate Jesus was a candidate and God says you cannot rush on earth you will be like children you will, grow, we will be like an adolescent be a grown man <laughs> then watch you if we see that you succeed yes you will die for them and at the age 30 Satan came at the age, say, hey, hey there what are you doing Jesus is fasting and praying isn't this supposed to be the last day of fasting and prayer he said of course uh, Satan used the same strategy, the same corny ways that he used as at the time of Eden. The issue of stomach, of food. Eve. The, f- the fruits are so beautiful. Why aren't you eating them? He comes again to Jesus. Aren't you hungry? Of course, Jesus says he's The Bible says mm-hmm. that after 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus was hungry. Iman. God did not send an angel, but he allowed Satan to approach Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Imagine after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting and prayer, the heaven did not respond by sending you an angel. In fact, they send they are sending a devil to you, Satan to you. Imagine when you are done praying and at night you get some weird nightmares. You would stop the prayer. But Jesus, after praying for 40 days and 40 nights, Satan comes and approaches him and says, uh, Aren't you hungry? Jesus, of course, is hungry. But Satan, he didn't say but, but the way he started his sentence, say, If you are a son of God. But even if he hadn't said that, after the prayer, the answer that comes from Satan is not an answer to you. An answer that comes from Satan is not an answer. Oh, yeah? No. Yes, it comes as good. It comes good. 
One time I had prayed for so many days in Kenya. Praying for people in different places, hospitals. I would go to Aga Khan. Aga Khan Hospital and prayed for the sick. And God will do great things there. I was still a young man. I was in early 2022. But I was filled with the power of God. I, I believe that I had some level of righteousness in me. I hate sin and I feared sin. And at that time, God had told me things of this ministry and one occasion the hotel that, I, that was hosting me had kicked me out and I just come out of prayer I don't know how many days maybe four weeks I believe I had decided to take 120 days fasting and praying and after that I didn't know I found that the hotel that was hosting me they kicked everything that I had out and even the money that I have kept there was gone I used to go around and give money to people that I met on my way I didn't have much at the time but the few the little that I had, I would share with people I meet on the, on the way and everywhere So I decided to pay the hotel for three months. So by the time of the end of the payment, I will be done. So I only had little money left. And the money was to give to a young man who was worshipping very beautifully just to thank him. And this was a seed of thanking him. When I went, that day he wasn't there. So I had to work with the money in my pocket. So when they kicked me out of the hotel, I slept on the roadside for seven days in Kenya. At night, a hotel that I was in to uh, kick me out and I found a different one. But only the money that I had kept to give to that young man who was singing, could, uh, I could afford one night hotel. And I took all my bags and put in that one room. So the next day I stay in the same hotel. But I did not pay. The management of the hotel came to me to get me pay. But I didn't have money. They kicked me out. All my belongings were put in the storage. I had nowhere else to go. I didn't know anybody in Kenya. And this was around 1993. I didn't know anybody. Except the people who sing on the street and I had loved them. And I didn't know the people who lived there. No, no. So the young man who was working at the reception, the day that I checked in the first time, I talked to him and we had a good time. I told him I'm a servant of God. And he said, I'm not. And I shared things of Jesus and he was very blessed. I was living in a place called Ngara. 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 Ngara.
But in that Gara, there was a valley in between to hate on the hotel called Panasonic. Nukongo au hagati hari chindu chichiwa ya gitoa chigishanda hawa gamo amabandi umva gamo gichu kwa nobody ramo ba bichira. So that means that in that valley, there, it was very dangerous. You could hear people being attacked, being killed. There were robbers. robbers no, no, man, so, in hotel. so when they kicked me out of the hotel, I had to go through the valley. And the, and the young man came out, called no, me. He said, please don't go that place. He said, they, will, they kill people there when it gets dark. And he said, just go in the corner of the hotel and lay there. And around 11 p.m., he said, listen, come and sleep on this chair. Early in the morning, at five in the morning, you have to to go out so they won't see you here. So I will enter the hotel from 11 p.m. and until 5 a.m. And I will go out. All my belongings had been locked. He will give me a shower. And then I will get out. For seven days. I didn't have a food. I did not know coffee. What he said he could give me was coffee and black coffee when he gave me black coffee <laughs> I had been so many days without eating it was like a poison in my body it was very dangerous it was a very dangerous coffee and it was very painful after I drank it and I can't it. from that moment I hate coffee <laughs> Even when I drink coffee, I have to pour a lot of milk in it. So what happened? On the fifth day, I went in the city to pray. And during that time, I made the servant of God. No, 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 no. The people that I prayed for, God told me, do not receive anything they are going to give to you. Okay. I said, okay. When I got into the hospital, I prayed for a child and God performed the miracle. I didn't know that the father of the child who is sick was the, the, the minister of finance at that time. He was very surprised because a miracle took place instantly. And he said, Do you know? Me? <laughs> Let us think I've that everybody knows them. I did not know him. I did not watch TV to know him. And during that time, with my hang- hunger and the prayer that I was in. The man asked me, Do you know me? I said, No, I don't. He took his card out. The minister of finance. He said, I am the minister of finance. And he said, At my place, I have a big house. Come. I'll give you a place. And also, You look young. Do you go to school or you don't? And I said, I'm just an evangelist. But no. He said, no. Come to my house. I will pay for your school fees. I said, no, it can't happen. I gave back his card. Through the hunger that I was suffering. Knowing that I'm going to leave that place and go spend the night outside the hotel. I was being tempted by the issue of hunger so that God can taste my righteousness level. When I was going through those trials, I met with Jonathan Jonathan Hansen. He was my pastor where I used to be. He's American he's in Seattle. Every year we'll be together in an apostolic meeting. 
uh, he was a, 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 man, a young man and I was a Iman still young. Yeah. Muri God had blessed their, his family. Yeah. And he was American missionary. Yeah. He started many churches in Africa and Singapore. And he said to me, I've seen you. This is the house. He gave me a very beautiful apartment in the area of Gongo Road. A very good house. It had, it had everything braids that were piling up. Those days, there were the days of the hunger and I had no way to be. There were milk, there was food, there was TV, there was everything. And he said to me, I want to leave this ministry to you. And this apartment, the car is right outside. Everything, it is for you. Let me work with you. And I want to send you to America. Spend the nine months being trained and familiaring yourself with the ministry. And when you come back, we will give you to lead a ministry in Africa. And I say, me? Oh, yeah. No. Mm. I say, what? Arikaka. He was very surprised. Niki. You say, what? I say, no, I can't. Kuberiki. Why? Okay, no. I say, I just can't. Simbisha. I don't want it. And he said, I'm giving you seven days. Go and go. After seven days, he asked me again. I said, no, I've said no. But he said, why? Tell me. At that time, I had nowhere to sleep. I said, God has given me a ministry that will go around the world. I cannot just lead Africa. It's too small for me. He looked at me. Go sure. Say, are you sure? Don't get to know. Ministry, I went into here. And I told him, your ministry is too small. Paraporo yio imana yampa. Compared to what God is calling me for. Yaran says the reality is I'm not taking so busy. He let me go. He could not even give me a ticket for the bus fare, but I had to walk from that place until to the corner of the hotel where I was spending night. So those temptation comes to people when God has called you. He will let you walk into great famine so he can taste the level of righteousness in you. Yes. Jesus he responded to Satan that it's impossible and Satan fled from him. But we will meet somewhere else again. Bavani. Brethren, in this world, there is no righteousness. There is no righteous who, who could be found in it. Yes, then Jesus came, carried all our sins. He, he suffered. They tempted him in every way possible. But Jesus overcame. Oh. Jesus came as the only begotten son to give us life and abounded life. It is very important to know who is Jesus. He was a sinless man who had a healthy life who was, who was blessed and this was eternal God. He came into this world in his time even political leaders could not find a scene in him. Poncio Pilato era vuzengo ni murebe nda mubazani kogerango mumenye kontakosa changu chaha mubonye. 
Pontius Pilate said, Behold, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. In Jesus, there was no fault. Yes. He said, The ruler of this world is coming, but he has nothing against me. They looked in Jesus but could not find a sin or a fault in him. Mm. In the commandments of God, they were known by God and known by Satan. He who sins is to be killed. Because the word, the word of, a, of a sin is death. And that was known to everyone. Everyone, we were in sins. We were unrighteous. So we were supposed and we were about to die. Jesus come to rescue. Go and carry their sin. So they can be righteous in you. So they cannot die. So Jesus rush on earth. So that he can carry all our sins. And the way they use, the strategy they use was beyond the corny ways of Satan. Satan does not work like no. that. No. no, he doesn't work like that. Satan is not like that. Satan, Satan he doesn't look like that. We he comes to kill he, whoever sins. Satan, Satan tempted Jesus and he could not succeed. Wherever he took he to take him, he could not work. He did that. He, he could not work. So what can we do? We should kill him. Huh? So let's kill him. Let's kill him. <laughs> he did not know that that's where his defeat lies. Because he had violated the commandment. The only person who dies is a sinner. But the righteous person cannot die. A love that sins will die in Ezekiel. But a life of a righteous cannot die. Satan. So Satan said this Jesus we have to kill him first in order to take over the people. They pull, they, pull, they pull hold of him. They got hold of him. And Jesus let them hold him. Jesus did not fight physically. But he fought with his righteousness. The great weapon that he used was a weapon of righteousness. They took Jesus and Jesus let them took him. This is a sacrificing Jesus only he could have done the following sins maybe he had murdered some people or maybe, or maybe he was involved in some homosexuality at that time because you'd be stoned or he was a witch at that time he was supposed to be crucified so those sins you were supposed to be hung but Jesus was hung without committing neither of those but Jesus knew that after all this the result that is going to come the consequence of Satan he cannot bear it he died he let them to come Isaiah said he walked like a, a sheep that is going to be oh that they're going to shave, if I may say that. It's not shave. There is a, there is a vocabulary in Ibagay. 
Anyway, anyway. Yes, I Jesus was very simple and humble. He was crucified on the cross. He died. And the hell celebrated. We will talk, we'll talk about this in the following days. In the first proof or symbol that say that certain what you have done is not right. The witness, the first witness that said this is wrong was the son. This, yeah, the son. The son said you have done so wrong since I've been a son I have never seen a righteous person being hung sinless and, and God dark he went off the sun could not shine a righteous person being hung sinless no. I'm holding all my, my reins to myself for three hours and the second witness was the graves so what? we have kept Abraham he wasn't righteous David is here also he wasn't righteous this where can we hold where can a righteous man be listen all of you who died oh, you need to get out Hallelujah. on that day, at the cross Jesus, Jesus, all the saints rise and they walk in Jerusalem they could, they could not say, share some tomb, some grave with a righteous man. Hallelujah. 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 In Jerusalem, those who died, they walked, they could see them. The tombs were open, they were sh- broken, and the saints walked out. The grave say, no, don't, don't come here. Yes, we were holding these. Yeah, they have sinned. But you, as you are still at the cross, where can, where are they going to bury you? No, you, we can't, we can't have you. No, we can't have you. Yes, what And Jesus said, I am coming, please. But Yes, I won't stay there. I'm not coming to lay there. I'm coming to preach to the people. The spirits of people. That, that was hardened in the, in the past time. I'm going to preach to the people in Hades. He's going to Hades. And God called Satan. He called Jesus. Now the court gathered. God, the just, uh, just, uh, the, the, the just ju- ju- judge. Satan. Satan. I'm here. Come here. He came and escorted me here. Yes. Jesus. Before you go to hell, come here first. Yes, Jesus came. And I saw the Lamb of God crucified before the throne of God. Slayed. Slayed standing before the throne of God. Sitting. Jesus was the Lamb of God. And he was laying there, standing there. And God says, Satan, do you know this man? Ego. Yes, I do. Ninde. Who is he? Yes. That's Jesus. Okay. Now the book of commandment, the book of law was open. A law 
Tekeza kwa riya magana rindu mirongo rindu na karindu. I believe it will be 777. Ugomba kuja kumusaraba. He who must be crucified. Agaka kambere. The first. Agomba kuba. Yarishi umu. He must be a murderer. And these are the list of things that are for a person to be hung. And the last, he must be a cursed person. Okay. Satan. Satan. Yes. Now among the list, show me which one Jesus had violated. Satan amagaza wa mukukomeye Belzebu And Satan calls the evil the great evil spirit Belzebu Apollyon Apollyon Sana kitabo cha mategeko Bring the book of laws in the hell Je yuko ibito irimo amazina yabapfuye bose batazima He brings the books of everybody who died Aoni mbere yitebe yima And this is taking place before the throne of God Kuberiki Why Umukiranuti yafu Because a righteous person has died a righteous you cannot play with a righteous man no no you can't they read Satan Jesus could not uh, Satan could not find you can't find anything to accuse him all the books nothing now why did you kill Jesus looking for reasons of course you are the one who violated the law and you kill a righteous man yet you were supposed to kill the un- unjust man now we are going to switch from today the unrighteous people will never die because now that you have killed a righteous man you have violated the law and the one that you hate to be killed they will not die the only begotten son you killed and all that you hate are redeemed and from today bring the key to he- to death and, and hell in the blink of eye Satan could not toss the key he had to handle them to Jesus and Jesus spoke to John on the, on the island of Patmos I had died but I rose again now I have the key of hell and death hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. but yes I was dead but I rose again I have the key of death and hell glory to Jesus now God from today yes Jesus go and set free all the captives because of your righteousness they have killed you all those now they become righteous because of you Jesus yes amen and that's how we became righteous. Simple like that. I'll show you about four things before I conclude. That Jesus took off him and handed them to you. Amen. 
The first thing that Jesus exchanged with you He bore your sins and clothed you with his sinless nature And the great thing that he did on that day He bore all your sins and clothed you with his sinless nature. First book of Peter, chapter 2, verse 24. Nguwe yikore yibza habza chumumumiriwe. Abibamba no kugiti. Kugira ngo dufe kubzaha. Duhereko tubeo gukira anuka. Tubeo gukira anuka. Miko ya koze. Tukwebe tukwa ba yoba kira anuka. Warafu. On 24, he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. It is very simple. Don't ever go to bed with a sin. There is a fountain. There is a fountain. You just go and say, Jesus, cleanse me because righteousness is there. Amen. This is what Satan does. You go to pray. How dare you? You know you've done so and so, this and that. Rebuke him and say, You know, I have repented because he has no dominion on you. No. No. Your sins, yes, Jesus carried away. He gave you the garment of righteousness. And he put on a garment of unrighteousness. And that was the stuff that the stuff he used to set up. If you if you were to bring back the history, had Satan known what, what Jesus would do, he wouldn't have touched Jesus. It would let him live 100, 200 years, 300 years. Don't dare to touch Jesus, no. Satan. Satan. Jesus, yes. Amen. That's why that's why when you declare the name of Jesus, demons flee from you. Because we are clothed with his righteousness. And we walked in the power of righteousness. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. 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 Number two. Yamba ye. Yisize ubusa. Ariko wowe. Agu hakuba ho. Ubuzima bure bure. Kandi bui. He put on your sarcastic life and gave you a long and abundant life. Your short life, he closed it. Then he gave you his long everlasting life. And today, you live today and you can live tomorrow. Amen. Amen. He gave you life. A long life. And when I look at you. And when Satan sees you. 
You are not just of this season. You are of the time to come. You are not just of a present. Your life isn't defined by the present. But your life is in eternity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 10. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Yes. Jesus only lived in this world for a short period so that you may have and live in eternity. And the next thing that he did. He took your infirmities and sicknesses and gave you his good health. He took your infirmities and sicknesses and gave you his good health. Satan Satan comes and deceives and plants the sicknesses, hypertension, diabetes, cancers, pneumonia, and he all those that's a lie because Jesus at the cross, he took your infirmities and your sicknesses. So in this conference, be ready to receive your miracle. Matthew chapter 8, verse 17. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. I want you to know this. The sickness that you have Jesus had bore it. He carried it. Your, your problem Jesus carried it. Satan will come and light you for you to carry it, but always rebuke it and say, I know Jesus carried it for me. It's the Lord who heals all the sicknesses. And Jesus bore our sicknesses. He took our sins. He took our infirmities. And that's what he did for us. Because Satan had oppressed us with all kinds of sicknesses. But among what Jesus took, those were included. Peter chapter 2, first Peter chapter 2, verse 24. By his wounds, you have been healed. His wounds. You have been healed. When they were striking him, your sicknesses were being healed. Your sicknesses. All your sicknesses. All your sicknesses. His wounds. His wounds you have been When, when you are sick when you get pneumonia, when you get any kind of sickness, hold it and say, in his wounds, by his wounds, I have been healed. Repeat it often and often, it will happen as your miracle. Yes, 
Always remember his wounds. He was stricken. He was beaten. There were Roman, Romans who beat, they would be beating to kill. Their staff will have uh, nails on it. So when they hit, it will go in and bring out flesh. And that's how he was beaten. So that your sicknesses. And a thorn of uh, a crown of thorn was put on his head. So that evil thoughts and sicknesses in your head to be healed. Nails were given to his palms and hands. That everything to go with your hands, your chest to be healed. And the nail was given, uh, put in who is That all the promises you have the, of the feet will be fulfilled. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Jesus had to go through this and exchange this with you. And not the same Jesus we are claiming. And why is in heaven? He's watching and hearing us. He's hearing us. Because we are praising what he did. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When he returns, I will praise him for that. He took all my curses. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's the force he did. He took all my curses. Yes. He took your curse and gave you his blessing. Nagaruka za shimiri jo doruku ndo watunya fira ija ja ja viamba muva masara suka wamuze na Hallelujah! 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This Jesus who was crowned with a thorny crown, he will come back in his glory. This Jesus who was crowned with a thorny crown, he will come back in his glory. He will come back in his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He carried all your curse and gave you his blessings. Isn't it? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. He took all the 
blessing he put them in Jesus and then he sent him those people are filled with the curse go and carry that curse and then exchange give them your blessings hallelujah Galatians 3 13 and verse 13 Christo yaduchunguriye kugira ngo dukizwe iki umuvumo wa mategeko ngo ahindutse iki yahindutse iki ikivume kubwa bande kubwacu kuko byanditswe ngo hagire gute havume umuntu wese uwamanitswe kugiti komeza undi murongo ngo ki ana undi murongo wari 14 ngo kugira ngo umugisha wandi wa Abraham ugere no kuri bande kubanya mahanga bawuheshejwe nande na Yesu Kristo kwizera kubone uko kuduhesha wa mwuka kwasezeranyishwe haleluya haleluya let's read on 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of, of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who, has, who hangs on a tree. On 14, that the blessings of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. You know the blessings of Abraham? A blessing to be called the friend of God. A blessing to have all nations belonging to him. A blessing the family. You know the type of blessing Abraham had. A blessing of tangible things. That God. That all the blessings God has given to Abraham. So you also have them. Brethren, now since we have no longer the curse, can we call for our blessings? Because they belong to us and our children. And on Passover, this is what Jesus came to do. If you go back without your blessings, you have not celebrated Passover. This is your Passover. This is the resurrection. Everything that has died in you. Everything that died in you. Come back. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You were dead. We were completely dead. This, this singer said we were almost or we looked that's how randoms are that we looked we looked as if we were dead no we, we were dead but we were dead that's what they were supposed to say he paid Hallelujah! 
paid all my debts Yamba baribsa habsos. He forgave all my sins. Yamba evuki la nukande irade. He gave me righteousness. I am holy. Yeshua madeni yos. He paid all my debts. Yamba baribsa habsos. He forgave all my sins. Yamba evuki la nukande irade. He gave me his righteousness. I am holy. Yamba baribsa habsos. All your debts have been paid. Your sickness as he had redeemed you. And in the evening they brought the sick. And he healed them all. So that those who prophesied that Isaiah will be fulfilled. That he carried our sins. He carried our sickness. He carried our infirmities. He prophesied that he will be fulfilled. Hallelujah. This is your evening of righteousness. Woo. Hallelujah. Woo. Yes. Praise be to Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is evening. Of receiving all that is yours. A heart, a heart that is troubled, a heart that is suffering, a heart that is in pain, you are going to leave it tonight here. Here in this place. It is in the grave of Jesus. Where you have to pour all your burdens. Go home with the righteousness of God. Go home with his blessing. Go home with his life. And go home with his greatness. And go with his life. And live a long life. There is no premature death in your life. No premature death in your family. We deny it in Jesus' name. We deny it in Jesus' name. Akira. Receive. Akira. Or receive. Akira. Receive. Yes. Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are worthy of Jesus. You are worthy of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. To the very hour we want. We have come before you, Lord. Kwakira. To receive. You are to gain. What you have made for us. We are no more over. And this is your evening. Kora kura baba no bara ha yes. Touch everyone who's here. Touch the men in this building. Touch the women who are here. Touch them all, Lord Jesus. Touch them, Jesus. Touch them, Jesus. Oh, touch. Touch them, Lord. Clothe them your righteousness. Clothe them 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 righteousness. Take away the curse and give them your blessing. Give them your blessing. Give them good health. Open for them. Open their heart. Show them and receive your miracles. Show them and receive your miracles. Show them and receive your power. 
brethren. If you are ready to receive your miracle, come forward. Just move forward. We know. Come forward. Jesus will do a miracle for you. Yes, yes, Lord. 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 Come forward. Come forward. Jesus, Jesus. We know Mugoro Vitangaza. This is an evening of miracles. Evening of miracles. Evening of miracles. Yes, Sarif Saku Koraho. And Jesus wants to touch you. To touch you. To touch your life. To change your lifestyle. To change your life. Yes, Sasha Kora Vitanga. Jesus wants to do miracles in your life. He is great. 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 The four things that he did. If you don't have them, pray because they belong to you. If you don't have them, pray because they belong to you. claim them. We claim it. Claim them because they are yours. On your children. Your family. On your people and your relatives. Righteousness shall come in your home. Because Jesus brought you here on earth. He planted. The righteousness can grow in your family. It can grow in your heart. Righteousness can grow in your relatives. Righteousness can grow. We know Jesus who is a miracle. No other Jesus. We know Jesus of miracles. We've seen him work. And today he's still working. And he will work forever. And this evening he wants to do great things for you. He wants to do he wants to change your life. He wants to change your history. This Jesus does not change. The same Jesus does not change. As he was, so he is, and forever will be. This Jesus, he sees you with a heart of compassion, a heart of love. He wants to change your history. This Jesus, he is here this moment. We are going to pray with you so that you can receive and enter to another level. God will do great things for you. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Be glorified, oh Jesus. Glorify Jesus. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified, Jesus. Praise. Jesus. Jesus. Start to claim having a long life, healthy life, righteousness, all belongs to you. Righteousness. Leave sin. And you live that's your right do not to be under the do not allow to be under the dominion of those habits no righteousness is yours righteousness is yours I'm 
mamu buli mugoro ba mami wanje iyo Receive your miracle. Receive the power of God. Receive the authority of God. Because Holy Spirit walk. Holy Spirit walk. Holy Spirit change. Holy Spirit heal. Lord Jesus. Your blood. Sanctify your blood, cover your blood, heal by your stripes. We will heal. May the sickness be the sickness in the name of Jesus. Receive the greatness. Receive wisdom. Receive righteousness. Receive blessing. Receive miracles. Receive glory. Receive power. Receive transformation. Be great. Be great. Be exalted. In the name of Jesus. From today, the generation of the curse, the curse we break them by the blood of Jesus by the cross of Jesus no you curse you curse go go oh Lord Jesus do miracle this evening this congregation to see you and see your glory see your miracle see your power your, your manifestation. Be manifested. Be manifested. Be manifested. Be manifested. Be manifested. Be manifested. The power of God I receive Gukira. healing in all the sicknesses in the name of Jesus I receive the blessing in the name of Jesus I receive good health in the name of Jesus I receive righteousness in the name of Jesus I receive deliverance in the name of Jesus I receive my freedom in the name of Jesus from today I declare with my mouth that new history is written in my life thank you Jesus Amen Hallelujah You may go back to your seat. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 Let the weak among you say, I am powerful. Say, I am strong. 
I have seen God walking. I saw the hand of God. I saw the hand of God walking. Amen. 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 Go with faith. If you have someone who is sick at the hospital, go and lay your hands on them. Don't talk too much. Just go and lay your hand on them. Amen. Amen. God will use you. I saw the gifts of people being stirred up. There were gifts in you that were asleep. But they were revived. They are revived in you. The gift in you are now revived. Go and use them because this is your time. Go and use them. It is your time.